Hi, this video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy folder redirection in Windows. I'm going to show you how you will create a shared network folder on a file server, granting permission, and also configuring folder redirection options with group policy. Folder redirection can help you to store user profiles, user profile folders like uh, desktop, documents, pictures, downloads, and many more in a shared network folder on your file server. This approach can uh, help users to access the profile files over the network. And this can help them configure a centralized data backup system on the file server instead of um, setting up a backup system on each workstation. You do not need to do that. Just set up this uh, um, centralized data backup system using this uh, approach. User profiles are usually stored in a local profile, which could be difficult to access when you try accessing a different computer. But if you redirect a folder, you will be able to access um, your files, no matter which computer you are currently logged on to. So um, let me move ahead now. Um, for another note, I'll be using Windows Server 2016 for this uh, video. And um, I will also be using Windows 11 Workstation. So we shall be creating a shared folder now and also GPU, Group Policy Object for the Folder Redirection. So I'll be using uh, Windows Server 2016 for the server and also for the workstation i'll be using windows 11. so inside my server i'm going to create um, we are going to create a folder and share it giving it all the proper uh, permission so inside my c drive there's this folder share folder so if you are if you are creating yours you can just um, open your c drive or anywhere you want then um, click on new folder then on the folder just right click it click on share with select specific people so um, on my own I've added everyone, everyone on the um, file sharing, and on the permission level, make sure it's um, read and write. Then once you are done, just click on share, and you are done. So once that is, uh, once the folder is shared, then you can now go to the um, group policy objects. So on the group policy object, you are going to launch dashboard, your service manager. Then on the service manager, you click on tools. So I'm going to select group policy object. Let me expand this. Group policy object tools. Policy management rather. So group policy management. So I'm going to expand my domain. So what you just need to do here is to right click your domain, create a GPO, you give it a name, you click OK. Very easy to do. So this is the uh, group policy I've created. So once you right click create a gpo you set the name click ok then you can now right click on the uh that you created 
then you click on edit so once you click on edit just navigate to user configuration under user configuration policies under policies window settings under window settings you will see folder redirection so these are the folders that you can redirect so i'm redirecting the documents so just select documents and click on properties once you click on properties then you will see this drop down here basic redirect everyone's folder to the same location advanced specify locations for various user groups not configured so i'm selecting the one the first one basic so that's the one i'm using then uh, the target folder location select create a folder for each user under the root part this will create a folder for each user i'm going to show you that as well so once that is done then you need to copy the root part this part here this is this is the, the folder i created the, the shared folder i created so copy you need to copy the root part this is your root part or network part so you copy it once you copy it then you can now uh, paste it You paste it here so once you paste it just click ok apply ok and you are done so once you do that then your gpo have been created so it may not propagate immediately so what you need to do is uh, you can use the command um this command cmd update force you can force it you can force the group policy to work instantly instead of waiting so it will update the policy so this is the command you are going to use so computer policy update has completed successfully so um you can click yes here and just the system you can now restart it so once that is done you can now um check your check your workstation I'm going to log into my workstation now so let me log in to my workstation and confirm the redirection so let me go into the folder so as you can see this is the document folder and for you to confirm that you will see this um, icon on it which shows that it's syncing everything that is coming into this document somewhere it's sending it somewhere so if you right click it you will see that uh, the location have changed let's check the location Can you see the location? This is the location now inside the server. So let's confirm now from the server. So this is the server. Let me, this is the folder documents. This is the folder so this is it so this is this is where anything you save there this is where it is coming to it is sinking into this particular location let me let's yeah The 
shared folder rather so c drive the shared folder that we created you click on administrator documents quota so you can also go through here and but this is um, the folder that we created as you can see is creating a folder before dumping the documents into it so that is uh, the selection we made the other time this uh, let me show you once again inside the we made a selection setting our upper group policy once again it's So let me show you yeah this is it create a folder for each user under the root path so it's going to be creating a folder so that is the selection we, we, we made here so that's why we are seeing straight up folder created before dumping the documents into it so whatever you save inside your um workstation here you are going to see it on the server it will redirect to the server okay so whatever you save inside here inside this uh, document folder is going to sync and um, store it inside this location here on your server so that is uh, the very uh, good way of redirecting your folder to another uh, location so it's pretty simple and straightforward i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching